Today I'm going to show you how to make your own dry rub and how to use it to cook up a piece of lingon. This will work great with any sort of rockfish too. So we're going to start off making our dry rub. Today I start off using some dried mustard. And you're going to be using about a tablespoonful, a little bit more. Some paprika, again, about a tablespoon. And these spices, this is what I like to use, but if you don't like some of these ingredients, you don't have to use them all. Some black pepper, just a little bit. Tarin, it's a Mexican spice, a little bit lemony, a little citrus flavor. Gives the fish a nice flavor. And the main ingredient here are some chili peppers. And this is just dried chili peppers that I put on here. If you don't want it very spicy, don't use as much as I use, but I probably have a tablespoon and a half there. And of course some sea salt. I like to use the more finer grain sea salt and uh, it really helps a lot to have that sea salt on the fish. Now once you have everything in the bowl, you just go ahead and mix it all up, stir it all up. You want to make sure it's all blended really well so that when you place it on the fish, you don't have just one ingredient on there. You want to have it all blended together. And this dry mix here works out really nice. And of course you can go buy dry mixes all the time, but this is an easy one you can make. Now, I have my fish here, my lingcod. It's very important that you dry the fish really well before you start to cook it or do anything with it. And the first thing I'm going to do here is add some olive oil. Now some of the olive oil I like to use is infused with chilies and garlic. So that's what I have here. And then go ahead and brush the olive oil all over the fish. And of course you're going to flip the fish over and do the other side too. You want to get that olive oil all over the fish. That way before you put the spices on it. Again you're going to brush the back and the front to make sure you have every piece of that fish coated in the olive oil. You don't have to use the infused olive oil like I have here. Plain olive oil will work. And then you want to take your spices and run them all over the fish. Just kind of scatter them and once you got them throughout the fish you can go ahead and press down on it to make sure it's really good on the fish. And make sure that you flip it over. You want to spice both sides of the fish. It's really important that you do put the spices on both sides of the fish. And as you see here, I'm not covering the whole fish, just kind of scattering it across the fish, just to give the fish a nice flavor. Now this dish is lingcod, but you can do this with any sort of rockfish. Even calico bass would be good too. Now before I place my fish in my baking pan, I'm going to coat the foil with olive oil to keep the fish from sticking. And it's really important that you do this so the fish doesn't stick to the foil when you're all done. Just place my fish in there. Now it's time to put it in the oven. So I have my oven set for 350 degrees and I'm going to cook it for a good 20 minutes. Once you close the door, you can just put it away and not worry about it. So once it's cooked, just going to bring it out, I'm going to plate it, and of course add some lemon. Some fresh lemon is always good to add to it, it just brings out the flavor of the fish. And again, this is lingcod, but if you have some calico bass, you have some rockfish, even halibut, this is a nice easy dish that you can do in all those fish. And you can see how this fish just kind of cuts away so nice and easy. In the oven it cooks up really nice and those spices will just add to it. You can tell when it's cooked well when it's nice and flaky 
and easy to pull just with the fork like that. It tells you it's done right. All right, well, this is a nice, easy dish. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe right here to my YouTube channel and look for a lot more fish dishes coming from me very soon. Thank you all for watching.